hi guys welcome back so you've been seeing a lot of tutorials tag beginner friendly and when you watch the tutorials they look really simple to follow you see a lot of comments in the comment section like oh this was so easy this is my first time trying it and it came out perfect but you don't just understand the tutorial you don't know where to start from where to end where to place your step where to where to place your tape or how to even start cutting and you don't just understand sewing tutorials my dear in this video i'm going to tell you what the real problem is and how to go about solving it hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here you're welcome you're welcome you're welcome i do videos on sewing tutorials sewing tips and fashion business tips i forgot to tell you my name my name is ada Uju. okay now i want to talk about why you don't understand sewing tutorials and i decided to do this video because I get a lot of questions whenever I do a beginner friendly tutorial people are like oh I don't understand it why did you put your tape from here to here why did you fold like this why did you fold like that and I'm like this is something you should know but then I sat back and I was like if this person doesn't understand this doesn't understand this doesn't understand this he definitely has a problem he or she has a problem with understanding sewing and that is why this tutorial looks confusing for her because this is a very very simple tutorial and the first reason that came to my mind the first reason why you're not understanding sewing tutorials is because you don't understand the basic foundation of sewing and cutting and I know you're going to be like this girl has come and the grammar again but no when you want to start sewing if you went to if you want to go to a fashion academy or if you went to a fashion academy or you know apprenticeship or online courses there are basic things you start with like okay based how to the division of the body we know that the human body is bilateral that's what is here is what is here then after that the body is further divided into four so when you are folding you first of all fold into two then go ahead to fold into four now these are just basic things that if you you took your time like if you're taking a, an online course or you're learning from a physical shop this is what they are going to teach you apart from understanding the basic foundation of sewing the human body also how to cut now some people just feel like okay i've i've drawn i get questions like okay where should i put my tape where should i measure my neckline from how will i know my shoulder line then i realize that a lot of people do not know their basic measurements you don't know your basic measurements you don't know how to fold a cloth how to fold a fabric to get the style you want like how to manipulate your fabrics you don't know how many times you need to fold you know to cut a basic blouse you don't know how many times you need to fold to cut your basic short or your basic skirt excuse me cold at night you don't know how to what to where to start your skirt measurements from where to end your hip line you don't know those things and this is why you are not understanding sewing tutorials this is why sewing tutorials look so difficult for you because you don't understand the basic foundation of sewing you don't know okay the shoulders are divided into two you don't know that the bust is divided into four you don't know that and that is why when they are drafting a pattern or when they are cutting a fabric it seems like rocket science to you this is one of the reasons why you don't understand sewing tutorials it is because you don't understand basic foundation of sewing basic foundation of body blocks you don't understand the body blocks you don't understand okay this is how they go about cutting the shoulder line the slanted like you don't know why it's slanted you don't know the basic points where your dark should be you don't just know all those things and that is why you are having a hard time with sewing now stay on the measurement I remember the last tutorial I did on not the last I think the the one before the last last like the tutorial I did on how to cut a six pieces blouse I got a comment on that post and the person was like oh um, why did I say my I said my half blouse is just so measurement um, where did I another person was like okay where did I put my tape from to get like my under bust point or like there was just a lot of questions and I realized that a lot of people do not know basic measurements like they don't okay they don't know where to take their shoulder points from they don't know where to take their bust points from they don't know okay this is what we normally take for half blouse but you can you know play around the measurements here and there a lot of people 
and you might be one of those people that don't understand basic measurements. And that is why when you're looking at a tutorial and probably they're extending the tape by five inches to get an off shoulder or, you know, they're telling you, okay, we can just play around with one inch here or if this is ease allowance, you can just manipulate here, you can cut it this way, you can cut it that way. You get more confused. This is because you don't understand basic measurements. You don't know how to take your body measurement. You don't even know how to take it on somebody else. You are just, you know, everywhere. You don't, it's just so confusing for you. Another reason why you are not understanding sewing tutorials is because you don't know your body measurements. You don't know where to start taking them from and where to start taking them to. You don't know when it's on paper, when it's on the, the when they are drafting it on a fabric or on a pattern paper. You don't just understand. And I want to help you because for you to understand sewing, you have to first of all understand the basic foundation of sewing, the body movement, the body parts. The body point then you have to go ahead to understand how to take your measurement on yourself then on somebody else first before you know you keep practicing with yourself you have to understand okay for shoulder for armhole points police is passing and I don't know it's why when I'm filming they're passing let's wait okay they are gone now you have to understand that okay for the armhole point the standard is eight inches for adults you have to understand that okay half blouse goes to you know around 17 inches but no that is 17 maybe for everybody but then some people's some people's own fall within 16 inches 15 inches you understand now when you understand these things it will help you understand a sewing tutorial because by the time the person is putting her tape and marking this point and marking that point you already understand so if you're a beginner to sewing, if you're new to sewing, you're having issues with understanding sewing tutorials, this might be another problem why you're not understanding it. Because in the last two weeks, I've spent a lot of time on my, you know, on Facebook, my DM on Facebook, on Instagram, my DM on Instagram, trying to help people out with tutorials. And these are things that, these are tutorials that I gave, you know, really detailed explanations in the videos but they don't understand why because they don't understand these basic things now another basic thing why you don't understand sewing tutorials is because you don't understand basic body blocks you don't understand how to draft a basic blouse you don't know how to draft a basic skirt you don't know how to draft a basic shorts see whatever style you want to cut whatever style you want to sew in this world planet earth i don't know of jupiter okay Planet Earth, it starts with basic body blocks like how to cut a basic blouse, how to cut a basic skirt. A gown is simply made up of a skirt and a blouse or a, a jumpsuit, a, a blouse and a trouser, a romper, a blouse and a shirt. Even if the gown doesn't have joining, you know that, okay, from your basic blouse, you extend it downwards, that is how you get a gown. Now, when you don't understand basic body blocks, you've not taken up on projects like how to cut a simple blouse, how to cut a simple skirt, how to cut a simple short, you are now jumping to go to complicated styles. You will get yourself more confused, you will get more frustrated, you won't understand the tutorials. So I think what my suggestion is if you want to learn how to sew, start with the basics. You know, start with, okay, how to cut a basic blouse, how to cut a basic dip, how to cut a basic dab. I get a lot of people in my DM, they send me really complicated styles. And from the conversation, I, I, I when, when we get talking, I realize that this person is a beginner. You are a beginner, you don't know how to cut a basic bustier, you don't know how to cut a simple gown, and you are going to get a red carpet gown that you want to sew it. How? It's just like you coming up, being in primary one, and they transport you to primary six. If you are in Nigeria, I don't know what they call it in other countries, but in Africa, you know, we call them primary school, okay? So you are in primary one, and all of a sudden, they take you to primary six, and you don't even, you don't know anything. That is how it is as a beginner. If you don't know these basic body blocks, and you want to take up on advanced sewing projects, you want to do, you know, you want to sew, you want to sew this skirt that they divided into eight, they divided into eight, you know, change the color here, change the color there. Then when they're done sewing, they came out perfect. No, you have to start with basic body blocks. You have to understand, you know, how to cut a simple blouse, simple skirt, simple shorts before you begin to dive into advanced, okay? Now, another thing why you don't understand sewing tutorials is because you don't pay attention. I'm sorry to say this, but a lot of beginners don't pay attention. And when I'm saying this about, you know, people that send me, 
um, messages that's in my DM. I'm, I'm not saying this to make you feel bad or saying this that okay, you should not send me messages. It's because I want to help you. A lot of us don't pay attention. Sometimes when I publish a video, some people come to the comment section and like, oh, you didn't mark your post. And I'm like, hmm, how? Like, <sighs> it's in a tutorial. Some people still come and come back to the comment section. There are some people that are confused and you know they ask questions and I'm like, oh, this person is confused. But there are some things that are so glaring, so glaring that I mentioned about two, three, four times in the tutorial, and someone still comes to the comment section like, oh, you didn't do this or you didn't do that. It just made me realize that a lot of people, a lot of beginners are too quick, you know, to so advanced styles, but they are not patient to learn the process they are not patient to understand they just feel like oh you're just marking you're just marking you skip the video i'm not saying i'm not against you skipping videos but you skip 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 then you skip the main step and you are confused so as a big t i learned sewing 60 percent of everything i learned from sewing i don't want to say 80 percent 60 percent of everything i learned from sewing i learned by just watching i'm not a kind of person that likes i'm not i'm a kind of person that if i ask you a question once twice and you give me a kind of body language i don't like i'm not going to ask you again so in my sewing journey i don't think i've asked people questions up to like 20 times so a lot of the things i learned i had to silently learn them you know when i was learning from my auntie if you don't know i've, I've mentioned in this channel my auntie is a top designer in lagos and she she designs for a living she sews for a living and i learned from her okay now when i was learning i used to listen and watch a lot like when she's cutting when we are in the shop with her apprentices 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 when we are in shop with her apprentices like i just sit down and watch you know i try to because i started from understanding how they even fold to how they cut to the basic points so even when they go into more complicated style i still now i still have a note a lot of people are learning how to sew you just watch a tutorial and you don't take notes down see youtube might be free for you but it's a learning platform i've learned a lot of things here on youtube i have notes where i write things down where i write basic measurements down because the human brain will always forget the human brain will always 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 forget and that is why you need to write things down and you need to pay attention when you're watching a tutorial a lot of us are you you people are blessed with youtube presently when i was learning how to sew there was no youtube or there was youtube but i did not know okay now and if you're watching a tutorial on youtube you should have if you are learning how to sew online you are using, you are leveraging YouTube to learn how to sew. My dear, you should have a note where you document everything. Because if you are not documenting every single tutorial, every single point, you will keep forgetting and you will not understand. Because when you document these things, you can easily go back when you are confused. You can always, like save the video as later to watch. Then you can always go back to understand the process. See, I learned a lot of things from YouTube. You see this trouser tutorial that everybody is like, oh, Ada, teach me how to cut the trouser. Teach me how to cut the trouser. I learned how to cut the trouser here on YouTube. And I did a tutorial for you guys. Now, when I was watching other trouser tutorials, they seemed so complicated to me. But I kept watching and watching till I was able to draft a very simpl simplified method for you guys and for myself as well. And that is why the trouser tutorials here on this channel, they are very, very simple and easy to follow because I watch other people and try to make it very, very simple for myself and for my followers. So if you're learning how to sew, you have to pay attention. You have to put in the time. You have to you have to put your mind and your heart to it you have to understand okay it's like wanting to spell words when you don't even know the alphabets the 26 alphabets we have you will always get confused so learn basic body blocks understand basic body measurements understand how to take them how to fold how to do under things and you will understand the sewing tutorials now one solution i always give people is if you want to learn how to sew online you might come online and you see a lot of simplified tutorials but if you're a novice you don't know anything you might have to invest in beginner courses like courses that teach how to cut from scratch how to fold how to do everything i have that coming up soon it's not ready yet but when it's ready i will let you guys know you know courses that will teach you the basics like how to literally start cutting and sewing when you you have to invest because not everybody some people have it as free courses some people have it as paid courses but if you want to learn online you should invest in you know 
paying for basic courses if you're learning from maybe a physical shop also take your time when they are teaching you take your time to pay attention like pay attention and apart from that you should be in constant state of is it inquiry like you should up see there are days like i will sleep and i'll be imagining a style and by the time i wake up in the morning in my subconscious i have figured out how to cut that style as a beginner your thirst to know how to sew should keep you on your feet they should keep you on your toes and you know when you put in all the energy you 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 know you put in your time you put in your money you take time to you take time to understand you know the basic body blocks basic body measurements you will start understanding sewing tutorials my dear it is that simple it is that easy sewing is not difficult i'm going to say it here there are styles that are advanced but sewing is like photocopy so when you understand these basic basic things you will face challenges but you will always overcome because you put your mind to it to it you've understood the basics and you know it's just like when you're in the university someone tells you spare it why won't you be able to spare it you learned it in primary one or even kg okay so that is just it for this video if you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe okay join the family by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so that whenever i post a video you will get notified don't also forget to follow me on instagram at stitch address on facebook also a lot goes up on facebook as stitch address as well and i'll see you in my next video bye